Here are two questions I get asked quite often. How do we know when an employee is highly productive? How do we define productivity expectations for our employees? In this podcast episode, I focus on employee productivity. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Accelerate Your Performance podcast. I'm your host, Janet Pilcher. Thanks for having a desire to be your best at work, help your organization achieve success. This podcast is all about actions we can take to improve workplace culture and achieve results, and they're all aligned to our nine principles for organizational excellence. What makes an employee a productive one? To garner a high-performing team, all employees are expected to be productive. I say all very purposefully. All employees means all employees. Chris Porteous outlined seven traits of productive employees, and we can use these seven traits to communicate expectations for everyone on our team. Porteous published an article in Entrepreneur, Seven Traits of Supremely Productive Employees. Here they are. The first trait is initiative and self-direction. Highly productive employees seek information and better themselves to achieve organizational goals. They're not afraid to try new ways of working and they take on more responsibility to help the organization and develop their own skills. They don't wait for things to come to them. They provide direction and figure out things. They figure out how to get things accomplished. The second trait is openness to feedback to develop. Highly productive employees not only listen to feedback. You know, they do something with it to improve and develop new ways of doing things. They actively seek input from their leaders, team members, and customers. They, they want to get it right. That's why they're continuing to seek input. They're open to others' ideas and to work through those ideas to create something good. The third trait is being great problem solvers. Highly productive employees love challenges. They love to figure things out. They ask questions, explore issues, and they research information. They apply a systematic approach to understanding how things are and how things can be better. They then execute and continue to study the outcomes. They continuously build those improvements for themselves and for systems in the organization. The fourth trait is managing time effectively to avoid slacking off our slack time. Highly productive employees understand that Time is money for the organization. They don't waste time, procrastinate, or show up late. They're dedicated to getting things done on schedule, and they know how to balance their work and share the workload. The fifth trait is having a personalized system for keeping the workday organized. Highly productive employees keep their desks, tools, and equipment organized. They have work processes to help them get their work done, and their work habits show that They have order in their work. We can see that as they work. They develop systems for getting things accomplished. They carefully do the necessary preparation work that is respectful to others. A sixth trait is a positive mindset to promote good energy. Highly productive employees have the right attitude to look on the bright side and solve problems and issues in a constructive way. They have energy. They're optimistic and engaged in their work. People want to be around them. Their attitude gives other people energy. The last and seventh trait is healthy working relationships and networking skills. Highly productive employees build relationships with others. They network with others inside and outside of the organization to open the door to sources of new information. They're constantly growing their networking relationships. So let's take this week to search for someone who is exhibiting these traits? Who on our team can we see exhibiting these traits? Now, then let's send them a note. Send them a note thanking them for being highly productive team member and choose one of the traits. Be specific with what they're doing and how what they're doing is making an impact on you and the team. So let's find people who have initiative and self-direction, are open to feedback to develop, great problem solvers, manage time to get things done on time, have a personalized system for keeping the workday organized, have a positive mindset to promote good energy, and have healthy working relationships and networking skills. Those are the seven traits. And then choose one of the seven you want to improve and create one action you'll take personally to becoming more productive at work. I appreciate guidance by Chris Porteous 
we can all learn from these seven traits of supremely productive employees. Being productive is a must-have in an organization, not a nice-to-have. Let's use these traits to define expectations for employees to align actions and behaviors. Let's live these ourselves. Let's use these traits to assess ourselves. How productive are we at work? Let's be supremely productive. Thank you for tuning in to Accelerate Your Performance. If you're looking for more resources related to today's episode, head over to studereducation.com slash podcast. I look forward to connecting with you next time as we continue to focus on the nine principles for organizational excellence so that we can be our best at work. Have a great productive day.